season is here. Uh, we've got our opener Friday night and then Ole Miss coming in on Monday. And then we go to Georgia and then uh, to Southern Miss. So uh, our, our, our opening uh, schedule is really going to be a challenge. But um, we, we've had a good preseason. We've had some injuries we've had to deal with. But we seem to be getting a few guys healthy. And uh, like I say, ready or not, we, we, we got to open up Monday night, Friday night, and then Ole Miss on Monday. Well, we, 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 uh, what we do in scheduling is we're, we're patient. We wait uh, till late in the summer to finish our schedule because sometimes when, you, when you're patient like that, you can get some, uh, you, can, you can control uh, who you play and when you play them. And, and so now when we made the schedule back in the summer, we didn't know we'd have the injuries we we're going to be dealing with. So that's, that's turned out to be a negative. But, but it, it'll be good. It'll be good to play those teams early and see where we are, and, and, and it'll let us know where we need to improve. And, and moving forward, you know, in our league, it's all about getting ready for conference play anyway. Well, I think from a recruiting standpoint, it's always good to go through the year one, uh, go through the league one year, and then they see exactly where the other teams are in terms of their recruiting talent level, uh, what you need to win on the road, and and so I think you know I have a much better feel for where we are in that sense. And then just with our team, it, it's 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 such a new team. We had we had six seniors on last year's team, and then we have nine new players on this year's team. So it's it's almost like from a personnel and from teaching and implementing what we're trying to do on both sides of the ball. It's almost like starting all over again. Tell me about uh, Bruce Barber and uh, what kind of things you have expectations for that, that matchup. Well, we initially we were going to open up with Ole Miss, but then when our schedule fell into place, Ole Miss at Georgia at Southern Miss, we decided we better get somebody in here uh, a little less, uh, at a little less high of that, that level. And that's why we brought Bruton Parker in there. They've already played four or five games. They're, in, they're a non-D1. They're an NAIA team. They've played four or five games. They've been a real high scoring team. I think they'll be similar to West Florida uh, in, in terms of uh, pretty advanced offensively because they get to start practice a little earlier. Uh, but it, it'll be a game that uh, hopefully uh, it'll be a challenge for our guys and get them ready for the that next portion of the schedule. Talk a little bit about the injuries and the like uh, Jeremy Holloman's a young man we, we recruited from Pearl River Junior College, a, a really uh, high IQ player, versatile player. He had new, knee surgery in June, and he's a likely out for the year, red shirt, medical red shirt. And then uh, Oscar Reinfeld is a guy we're really counting on, um, a junior college transfer who played his first season at Portland University. So he's one of our guys who has some Division One experience. He's got a stress fracture. We just found out today that the fracture's still there, but uh, he, he doesn't have the symptoms, so they're going to let him, they're going to go ahead and let him play, probably let him play until it breaks. And, and uh, so he's going to start working out today. He probably won't be ready for he probably won't be anywhere near 100% for another month or so. But just getting him back, that, that is a positive. And then the, the senior we brought in, a one-year guy, Moose abdul Leems, had a high ankle sprain. It's kind of been a day-to-day -day thing, frustrating. He's, he can practice one day, can't the next. And that's one we need to move beyond and get him back out on the court. Well, the first thing you expect is, is he's been thrust into a, a major role for us, uh, particularly offensively. And, and he's, he's talented. He can really shoot the ball. Uh, he, what he has not you know, experienced is, is on a night in, night out basis, playing against the kind of size and athleticism he's getting ready to play against. But I think he'll adjust quickly. The one thing that he's done uh, outside just being so consistent is, is he, he's, he's really, he, wa he wants this role. He, you know, he's not scared of this role. And we put him in a, Again, particularly with the injuries to those older guards, he's been thrust into a pretty, uh, a pretty, a role. It's a pretty big one uh, for a freshman, but but he but he's ready for it. And he has a, as you would expect, he has an extremely high basketball IQ. He knows how to prepare for practice every day. Uh, we've had, I think we're going into our 33, 33rd practice of the year today, and he's not had one practice where he came out and he wasn't ready to go. And that shows you a lot about his maturity level, which is really unique for a freshman. It's going to take uh, some some work now to definitely uh, get the chemistry going, you know, and get guys going um, <clears throat> uh, where everyone can get on the same page, um, can understand uh, exactly what coach wants and uh, just how uh, how he wants everything to operate. You know, um, this year we got a new system, um, which is uh, <clears throat> fairly new to me as well. But I think that uh, the mindset of everyone on the team, 
Everyone wants to work hard. Everyone wants to get better. And uh, I think we all have one common goal, is just to uh, win the championship here and also go to the March Madness. You got a pretty tough uh, schedule coming up. Uh, what do you think of the uh, definitely. Um, it's always good to get practice in, you know what I mean? Uh, be able to um, get a feel for the game, you know what I mean? Especially, uh, uh, like I said, with the new players, you know, and uh, new teammates. So it's always good to get that extra extra win under your belt, you know, um, extra competition. You know, sometimes guys get uh, get tired of playing each other every day and stuff. So. We get a chance to, uh, you know, beat up on somebody else. So, you know, um, I'm looking excited. I'm looking forward to that, and I hope that uh, we can pull out that win. You know, and uh, this will help guys uh, get in a better mindset for the game coming up on Monday. What do you like best about this team so far? Um, so far, everyone, I believe, is just a hard worker. You know, I believe everyone's focused, and um, I believe everyone just wants to achieve and just wants to prosper. You know, um, coach. Uh, all the coaches recruited uh, very high character guys, and um, you know I have no problem with any of them. You know, so just a great bunch of guys to play with. And you do have a, a big game on Monday night. I know you look to find it, but but how excited is it to have SEC teams coming here, playing each other in arena, mm -hmm. to get here early in the season? Oh, it's unbelievable! It's unbelievable, man. I mean, uh, I know it's it's everyone's dream, you know, to play against big teams, you know, we play, you know, in front of large crowds, you know, just to have that, that excitement and just be in that atmosphere, you know, so I'm definitely excited and I'm sure I'm not the only one on my team who is, I feel that way, you know, so um, I'm just looking forward to it. I hope that we uh, come ready, bring our A game, you know, I hope that'd be a good game for, for us and uh, the fans will enjoy it.